Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to the God Minute. This is Father Michael, along with the rest of our team, gathered here in the chapel to pray with you and for you as we enjoy this 10th day of August. Let us begin as we do all things in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and and my my mouth mouth shall declare your grace. grace. Psalm 48, God's Mountain. Great is the Lord and highly praised in the city of our God, his holy mountain, fairest of heights, the joy of all the earth. We ponder, O God, your mercy within your temple. Like your name, O God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is fully victorious. Mount Zion is glad. The daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Psalm 33, verse 11. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the designs of his heart through all generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The designs of his heart. I want to propose this as our image for prayer today. I think it's an image which invites a very confirmed and convicted trust. Trust is the posture of the Christian, right? But um, one of the challenges to trust that we experience is the reality of evil. How can we trust a God who lets bad things happen? We hear about, we hear this question in many different forms, in many different ways all the time. When evil is an abstract reality and all is fine and good in our own personal lives, oftentimes when we turn on the news and we see terrible things, we can easily say, well, God allowed that to happen. But then there are those challenging times when evil becomes a little more personal. And it's in those times that our trust can be shaken and we can cry out, how can God let this happen? Recently, I was in the latter posture. And regardless of which camp you fall into right now, let us let this image, the designs of his heart, speak to us about the God we can trust. And I just want to offer two two images or two perspectives of this image, the external perspective and the internal perspective. So the external perspective is that the designs of his heart refer to the plan of God. The designs of his heart are from age to age. We see this as another way of talking about God's providence. And we all know that God can does does not will evil, but permits it to bring about a greater good. So we know this in faith, so we can put our trust in him, knowing that all events are somehow within his designs, within his providence. But I think this external perspective can limp in moments when evil strikes us personally. And this is why I think the internal perspective of this image of the designs of his heart is even more effective in cultivating trust. The designs of his heart can refer to the actual concrete designs of the physical heart of God that are from age to age. God became man. God has a heart. And what are the designs of this heart of his? Well, he has revealed that his heart is a wounded heart. And scripture testifies that our resurrected Lord still bears the mark of that wound in his side. St. Thomas cries out in scripture, Unless I put my finger into his side, I will not believe. And then he does. Heaven holds a wounded heart, the designs of God's heart. There is no suffering we experience which God has not felt himself. And there is no suffering which he has experienced 
that has not been transformed into greater joy through the resurrection. That joy is his promise. Jesus, I trust in you. Yes, let us ground ourselves in his heart today and the designs of his heart, whether you can reach out to that external perspective or internal perspective. The designs of his heart are from age to age. Oh, sacred heart, oh, love divine, do keep us near to thee. Let us pray together the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, we want to be persons who stand firm and trust in you wholeheartedly. We want to be unshakable and resilient, but that can only happen by depending on you and trusting in you. Develop that deeper trust in each of us. Lord, we desperately need it, and we want to trust you more. Let your love and your grace lead us to that trust. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you and your loved ones in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it's been a privilege to pray with you today. And just in case you've forgotten, God loves you, and so do we. Take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>